13. So as you guys know by now, the iPhone 13 series is out. So the reason why the iPhone 12 still staying in the lineup doesn't really make sense to me. The line between the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12 is so marginal. This isn't a big difference like it was when you had the iPhone 11 to the 12. So in this video, we're gonna cover every reason why the iPhone 13 exists and why for some people, preface, some, it might actually be the best choice for you. So why should someone get the 13? First and foremost is going to be storage. iPhone did something that I've been clamoring for for at least the last three years. We're increasing the starting capacity to 128 gigabytes for double the storage. That is what I consider a decent, no worries starting storage for anyone who's just looking for a phone. My iPhone XR, 128, I upgraded the storage. My iPhone 12, 128 gigabytes. So honestly, if you're looking for more storage, probably gonna go with the 13. Another great reason to go with the iPhone 13 this year is going to be that battery life. Now granted, I haven't tested this, but everyone that I've been paying attention to since the iPhone dropped has kind of said this is true. So during Apple's event, they did mention that the 13 mini as well as the 13 were getting one and a half to two and a half hours more battery life than the older iPhone 12. Now, I think the power packs are identical in this. So it's really all pretty much because of that new A15 chip. So there is some battery battery life. Now, is that a reason to go for the 13? I have the iPhone 12 right now, and I have to admit it's battery life is decently good, but not exceptional. Battery life could be another reason why you jump to the 13. Another reason why you might wanna consider the 13 is depending on your color preference. In my opinion, the iPhone 12 series really got some excellent colors. I was a big fan of almost every single one. I feel pretty. The iPhone 13s have introduced a nice like blush pink color. The product red has been deepened to like a ruby red. It has a new variant of the blue color that's a bit lighter than last year's. And then of course your traditional black and white which really haven't changed at all. So depending on your color preference and if you rock a phone naked. Giggity goo. Or with a clear case you might wanna go with the 13. My next point is gonna be the camera. Apple made a really big deal about the camera lenses on pretty much all their iPhones. This is enabled by larger 1.7 micron pixels that capture more light. We've also custom designed a new ultra wide camera. So when it comes to the new 13, it did get the sensor shift stabilization technology that was put into the iPhone 12 Pro Max from last year's. But if you're one of those people that really cares about photography and maybe you're stuck with an older iPhone 10R or iPhone 11 and you really want to up your camera game, the iPhone 13 is a clear win this year. My last reason to go with the 13s this year, ironically is going to be price. This isn't a huge price gap. Are you bidding, sir? Now, granted, I go through carriers and finance my phone over 24 months. So when you break it down, I mean, the price difference is like two to three bucks. For me, and from the prices I've seen, why go with the 12 if you're getting a slightly poorer camera, a slightly smaller battery, and maybe color choices that aren't your bread and butter? Not to mention that starting storage size. Definitely something to consider. So my final thought on who should get an iPhone 13 this year. We're waiting. <laughs> well, if you fall into any one of the categories that I just mentioned, where you'd appreciate the plus that the 13 brings, really any Model 13 is going to be an excellent upgrade for you. However, I would say if you're rocking any iPhone 12, even an XS, XS Max, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, save yourself the money. 
To use Apple jargon, this is definitely more of an S-class year. Do I see bright things on the horizon for the iPhone 14? Yeah, absolutely I do. But that doesn't mean the iPhone 13 doesn't have a place. I've recommended it a ton already over the 12, but that's simply because of their use cases. But this video isn't to tell you, oh yes, go buy the new iPhone 13, or hey, the iPhone 13's trash, don't even bother. This video is more to just let you know, there's an iPhone 13 and there's a reason for it. Thanks you guys for watching Vision All Access. So make sure you hit that bell, hit subscribe, and don't forget to follow me so that way you don't miss any Vision All Access content. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the flip side.